everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalia Lee. I am an indie author and freelance editor and today I am unboxing the Pistol Daisy paperback. I am so excited to show it to you. I've had quite a few proof copies like over the last year, but this will be the final proof copy. I'm going to use this to do my final proofread. It has the updated book cover. It has everything. This is the final story. So I'm really excited to open it and uh, show you how it looks. Also, if you guys didn't already know, I am picking ARC reviewers for Pistol Lazy probably like right now. My video went live on Friday all about ARC reviewers. So if you're interested in being an ARC reviewer for Pistol Lazy, that video will be linked down below. You'll want to probably sign up pretty quick because I will be choosing ARC reviewers in the last couple weeks of April so that I can ship out books at the very beginning of May. Hopefully we'll kind of see how all of this goes with everything that's going on in the world. But yeah, if you're interested in being an ARC reviewer, make sure to check out the video linked down below. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up this box and see how this book looks. I will say I am using Barnes and Noble Press for my uh, proof copies now. I do love KDP because of how easy they are to use and how friendly their systems are, but they put really ugly watermarks across the top of their proof copies. Here's an example if you've never seen it. This is just um, my own cover that I made for a proof copy of an early draft of Whiskey City. So that's what KDP puts on there and I understand why they do it, but it looks really, really bad and I'm going to be sending copies, proof copies, to my ARC reviewers, and I wanted to make sure that my ARC reviewers that receive paperbacks don't have that ugly band. So that's why I'm using Barnes & Noble Press. So uh, let's go ahead and just open this up and see how it looks. Come on now. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. Okay, it's almost open. There we go. Ooh. Okay, here we go. There's quite a lot of box here. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. There it is. Oh my gosh. Oh, it looks beautiful and it has the correct blurb on the back because I had this updated uh, a couple weeks ago, very end of March, I had the back cover updated, so it looks amazing. It looks so good. So I got the glossy version. I have tried matte books. I've decided that I don't like them. So Pistol Daisy is glossy. Look at the color of this book. It's gorgeous. It's super shiny. We have the little tiny spine and we have the back cover there. So this book is, let's see, 140 pages long about. The story itself is 140 pages. I did the formatting for this and Enchanted Ink Publishing is now offering professional formatting if you are interested. Oh my gosh, let me give you just like a little peek inside this book. So we have gorgeous title page. And then we have, I'm not going to lift this too close because I don't want you to be able to like read it, but we have some illustrations in Pistol Daisy. Uh, if you have read Song of the Dryad, you'll know that Song of the Dryad has five illustrations and Pistol Daisy has illustrations as well. There's just something I love about kind of the mixed media between storytelling and showing pictures as well. So if you do uh, end up picking up a copy of Pistol Daisy, you'll be able to see all the illustrations in here, but it looks fantastic. All of the, all of the chapters look beautiful. The page numbers, the headers, everything looks perfect on here. And of course, when I go through and do a final proofread of this, um, if you didn't already know, like proofreading, copy editing are different. I have done a copy edit of Pistol Daisy, but I'm doing the proofread now, which is why I need a physical proof copy because I'm going to go through this entire book 
I'm going to check every single page number, all of the headers and uh, footers. I'm going to check all the margins, like everything. I'll check all of the formatting and make sure it is exactly perfect, exactly the way I want it. And then at the same time, I'll read the full story, look for any errors, any, you know, commas where there should be a period, any just funky stuff that kind of got through. But this looks absolutely beautiful. Um, the scene breaks look nice. The illustrations are gorgeous. I literally don't think I have a single thing to complain about in this book, which is rare. Usually I get my proof copies and I say, oh, I could complain about this or this or this, but this looks really, really nice. I have a little, I'm not gonna show you right now, but I have a little tiny sneak peek at the Whiskey City book cover in the back of Pistol Daisy. So uh, anybody who buys the book will be able to see a little sneak peek at the Whiskey City book cover this just looks fantastic. So that's it. That is Pistol Daisy, the paperback copy. Like I said, it is um, only about 140 pages. It is a short book. You can compare that to Whiskey City here. You can see the difference in like the spine width. And Pistol Daisy is about 40,000 words. And Whiskey City, I think this was 50,000 or so words. Um, but it's such a bigger book, so there might actually be even more words in Whiskey City than I think. But um, Pistol Daisy is a short book. It's a fast read, but it is a it is a full story, full of heart and adventure, and I just absolutely love it. And I hope you guys will enjoy this book too. So this book comes out on June 9th. There is a pre-order live right now. It is linked down below in the description and it is a pre-order for the Kindle book. I've had a lot of people ask me if there will be other ebook options. Yes, absolutely. I am going wide with this book. I'm just only doing pre-orders for Kindle. So if you don't have a Kindle and you wanna wait until the paperback comes out or until the Nook book comes out, anything like that, don't worry about it. All of those uh, formats will go live on June 9th. So those are coming but there is a pre-order if you would like to get the uh, Kindle copy of Pistol Lazy. So there it is. I think it's gorgeous. The colors are perfect. The cover is perfect. Everything is really coming together on this. So I just wanted to show that to you guys. Again, make sure to check out the ARC reviewer video if you're interested in being an ARC reviewer for me. Um, all the info is in that video so that I don't go in to it here and like repeat myself, but that will be linked down below. Pistol Daisy pre-order will be linked down below. Um, I will be sending out a first chapter sneak peek very soon. That will go only to my newsletter subscribers. So if you want a sneak peek at the first chapter of Pistol Daisy, make sure you are signing up for my newsletter because again, that'll probably go live this week, like the end of this week always linked down below. So that is all I have for you today. There is the gorgeous Pistol Daisy paperback. I will officially be able to put it up on my shelf behind me now so that you guys can see. Let's put it back there now and see how it looks. What do you think? Oh, I think it looks fantastic. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up. I've already been talking way too long for an unboxing. Thank you guys so much for being here and uh, thank you for supporting me and for pre-ordering Pistol Daisy and for signing up to be my ARC reviewers. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.